Hey guys, welcome to Automotive Technica. In this video, I'm going to show you the intercom uh, from biker to biker. This is Parani uh, from uh, Sena. This is called M10 and uh, this can be connected to the four riders. Now, if you see here, I have already fitted this uh, onto my helmet and show you what are the contents of the boxes. So here you have a, a USB type C charger and uh, an extra mic cushion. So if that goes bad, you can put it extra because this mic cushion uh, provides you uh, pure sound because there is no plausible voice like pho and bho like this will not come to the receiver so these are called the uh, uh, protectors of the voice and now there is an extra clip here which you can stick it to the helmet and then uh, slide it so i have used uh, a direct clip on method where uh, i just slide it this thing uh, this clip onto the helmet but for this axle helmet uh, there is a slide visor because this visor it comes into the picture right so to protect this what i did is uh, push on to the right side of it a uh, little bit front of the slider because this slider uh, it's your extra additional visor for the sunlight protection and uh, slightly uh, front of this you can just push it slide on and then uh, put the uh, Parani uh, uh, transceiver. So if you see here, there is a USB charger port and there is a job dial. There's a job dial, and if you want to start it, so you have to press these two buttons, it will start. Hello. So this is like uh, volume control, and up is. Uh, uh, high volume low and this is down is low volume and now if you see you can come here, pair it to your co-riders of a different uh, uh, biker and it may be in the Parani range and if you want to connect it to Sena it is not directly possible but there is a workaround as per the seller says uh, from the local uh, guy uh, now here uh, coming back how did I install the other uh, heads uh, speakers so if I open, I have already opened one side of it. So this pad you have to open, there will be three rivets, a red color three rivets for axle helmet. And here, uh, the important one is here. This is what it is. If it is visible, I believe yes. Yeah. So the one, the one round, this is the left speaker and the two wires which are coming to goes to the socket here you have to reroute outside so one is for the left channel and one is for the right channel and there is a I can show it here it's here so this is the uh, microphone where I have to place it properly and there is the guide to the right speaker it's once you pad it back, it looks like this. So the speaker is behind the pads. So this is what it is. If you see this, it's, it's here, it's here. So this is the one where it's behind the, the it's, it's visible hope, I believe, yeah. So this is the one behind which the speaker is present on the right side. And what I do is, once I reroute the wires of uh, these Parani to the transceiver, then I can uh, put my pads here. So just I open it to show you. So you have to open three things. One is the, uh, the cushions from the right side and the left side and the center one. So center one is just to reroute the wires to from the uh, right uh, left speaker to the right speaker. So here it's stereophonic and you can connect it to your uh, cell phone and you can connect it to the four co riders with Parani M10. So now uh, I'll just uh, show you what are the significance of this Parani. So the thing is when you are on the ride in the line of sight when there is no uh, obstruction in between the two riders the maximum distance as per the manufacturer says is one kilometers but I tested it, it came to be 750 meters and yeah, if it is line of sight without proper uh, any kind of disturbance, 
then you can reach up to one kilometer but the maximum distance i got the beautiful uh, high fidelity voice uh, reception and transmission was up to 750 meters and in the city hazel and bustles and there is a curving if you want to speak to the co-rider this happens to be approximately half a kilometer and so on so if there are trees it reduces so that's uh, the prani and coming back what are the features here the features i won't go in between because they are available on the website and this is the price the price actually is 6499 so if you buy it from a bike and biker you get a, a good deal otherwise it will be uh, 500 rupees extra if you buy it online at some uh, retail stores like amazon and all so you see amazon sells it at uh 6499 that's what i seen on the website and i purchased from bike and biker so i'm a member of the uh, of the as a customer so uh, there is some uh, you can talk to them and uh, yeah uh, go for parani it's a nice build quality uh, the quality is good and if you want to listen to the music the music is also good but on the fly when you're riding i don't recommend go for uh, high definition audio speakers because uh, you will not make to differentiate the actual uh, the actual sound and uh, high definition sound so that's uh, that's a short video from my side if you have any queries uh, please uh, write your comments and i'll be uh, glad to help you uh, yeah if you like my video push the thumbs up button subscribe to my channel automotors technica and stay blessed yeah, to uh, work around, I would like to say that your uh, left pad needs a work around because you have uh, uh, this visor, right? So this visor, to protect this visor uh, slider, what did I do is, I just cut the plastic piece in the form of a U-shape where the wires can be guided to the speaker and to the socket so here my wires come out my wires come out and it is guided to the speakers so now this will this groove which i have done it here this one this one i have cut it using a knife slowly and steadily it curves well and it protects the uh, wire to the groove if i push it like this it goes into the groove so this is how I did a workaround to fit on to the Axor helmet. Yeah, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching my video.